Yes, I go to number two. Today we continue on chapter eight, uh, counter. So this is outcome for chapter eight. Okay, at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to derive the JK flip flop through table, determine the waveform for JK flip flop, design the synchronous counter circuit, and the last one analyze the synchronous counter circuit and determine the counting sequence. Okay, so first so uh, we will look at uh, another type of flip flop, okay, which is uh, JK. Okay. So JK flip flop, the op the operation of JK flip flop is actually similar with SR flip flop. Most the op the inputs are assigned as J equal to S, K equal to R. Okay, however for JK it will use the input of S equal to one, R equal to one combination. Okay, so this combination of, of uh, input known as a toggle mode. So if you remember in SR flip-flop previously, uh, when S equal to 1, R equal to 1, the output is invalid, right? But in JK flip-flop, uh, the input S1, R1 can be, accept, okay, can be acceptable. And then this combination known as a toggle. So... Toggle comes from the on-off nature of toggle switch, so meaning that when J equal to 1, K equal to 1, the output Q will change okay, from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0. Okay. So it, uh, the concept is actually the, uh, the same concept as uh, complement. Okay. So it will uh, change the value or the, the output value is opposite of the input value, that means by toggle mode. So we have four mode operation in uh, JK flip flop: hold, reset, set, and toggle. It's slightly different with SR flip flop. SR flip flop only have three mode: hold, reset, set. Okay, the last combination of input is actually invalid. But for JK, so all combination is uh, valid. Yeah, so that's why we have four mode. Okay, including the last one is toggle mode. So this is the summarization of uh, truth table for JK flip flop operation. Yeah. So the combination of J and K, we have four combination. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And then uh, the output of Q. Okay, how we can get the output of Q is actually we need to compare between the present state of Q. So uh, we need to uh, compare between two value of present state, okay, at zero or one. Okay, so hold, reset, and set the uh, output of a Q is actually similar with the SR flip flop. Okay, hold. Uh, that's why the next state of uh, Q is similar with the present state of Q. Reset. Okay, the next state of Q will equal to zero. Okay, doesn't matter the present state. Uh, Q value 0 or 1. Okay. So uh, set your next state Q will equal to 1. Okay. So you don't have to look at the present state. Okay. Because uh, when the mode is set, automatically the output equal to 1. Same goes with the reset. When the mode is reset, the output will automatically equal to 0. Toggle. Okay. So for toggle mode, yeah, toggle mode is actually... Uh, opposite of the present state Q. Okay, so if your present state Q is 0, so next state Q will equal to 1. So if your present state Q is 1, your next state Q is 0. So that means by uh, it will toggle the, uh, the value or will complement the value or invert the value. Okay, so um, this is the equation. So actually the equation of JK flip flop, uh, you can map based on the uh, truth table previously yeah and then uh, this is the uh, diagram okay diagram of jk uh, flip-flop and then uh, the summarization of truth table yeah so we have this kind of uh, truth table so you have four mode okay you have two input j and k so that's why you have four combinations and then you need to include the clock uh, column okay because flip-flop Okay, when we talk about flip-flop, meaning that you have a clock. 
So small triangle in this diagram showing you that this device have a clock. And then what uh, is the value of your output which is Q? So it depends on the mode. It depends on the mode of the JK. Okay. Uh, so if mode is whole, so that's why Q is equal to Q. Whatever Q that you carry previously, so it just carry the same value. Okay, reset. Okay, the output of Q will equal to 0. And then when the, the input is set, okay, the toggle is, sorry, the mode is set. So the output equal to 1. And the last one, toggle. So that's why your Q is equal to Q bar. Okay, because it will complement the value of uh, current Q. So we will look at the example of the Q waveform. Okay, for JK flip flop. So this is one example, and then, then this is the diagram of JK flip flop. Okay, so you need to remember the diagram of the flip flop, JK flip flop, because we will use this JK uh, flip flop diagram when we uh, go for the next part, okay, which is the synchronous counter, uh, and also analyze okay, the synchronous counter. Okay. So based on this example, uh, we have a clock, of course, and we have a clock. So this clock is actually positive 8 trigger uh, clock, yeah? meaning that the output Q change state whenever the clock change from 0 to 1. Okay? So whenever your clock uh, change from 0 to 1 or the arrow is going up, okay, so this is a positive. Okay? So the clock we call a positive 8 trigger. Okay? Alright, so how you can determine the Q waveform? Yeah. So you will given the clock, you will given the J, you will given the K, you need to draw the Q. Okay, so Q is actually the, the part, uh, yeah, uh, the waveform that you need to determine. Yeah. Alright, so Q equal to 0 initially, so this is the started of the Q, so Q equal to 0 initially. Okay, so you need to carry Q equal to 0 until the clock is changed, okay, from 0 to 1, okay, which is until uh, this line, okay, this particular line. Okay, so you need to draw by your own for this particular line. Okay, every time a uh, clock change from 0 to 1, so you just draw the vertical line uh, to make sure that you can determine the value of your Q, what happened to your Q, okay. So for the first clock, okay, uh, so what happen to the next uh, mode okay so you need to refer to the uh, input of your j and k after the clock okay after the clock change from 0 to 1 so we need to start from this okay okay start from this line okay start from this line so you refer to this value okay so uh, the value of J here is 0, K, K also 0. So what will happen to your Q? 0, 0 mode is whole, right? Whole meaning that you need to carry the same value from previous uh, form, waveform. So that's why you hold 0. Okay, until the next clock. Okay, clock number 2. So for clock number 2, okay, how you can determine the Q waveform? You look at the value of your J and K after this line. Okay, so value of your J is 1, value of your K here is 0, so 1, 0, so 1, 0 is set. Okay, so that's why your Q waveform will change from 0 to 1, okay, it's go up, okay, and then you go straight, value 1, until the next clock, which is clock number 3. Okay, until the clock number 3, again, you compare the value of J and K, so 0, 0, mean whole, so you hold the value, until clock number 4. So, clock number 4 is 0, 1. So, 0, 1 is reset. Mode reset. So, that's why your Q is equal to 0. Alright. So, clock number 5. Okay, so, clock number 5, your J is 1, your K is 1. So, what is the mode when J 1, K 1? Toggle. Right. So, what happened to your Q when it is, uh, have the... Uh, mode of uh, toggle. So toggle means that you need to complement your Q, right? Q bar. So because previous Q is 0, so when the mode is toggle for clock number 5, so it will change from 0 to 1. It will go up. 
okay, and then carry the value of 1 until clock number 6. Again, clock number 6, 1, 1, still the same mode which is toggle. So from 1, so it will change to 0. Okay, so carry until clock number 7. So 7 is 0, 0, which is hold. So it will hold the same value which is 0. Clock number 8, again, we have a toggle mode. So it will change to 1. So that means by toggle. So you must remember uh, the mode okay, uh, based on each combination of input for J and K. Okay. So we look at another example. Okay, example number 2. So for this example number 2, this is a negative 8 trigger. Okay, negative 8 trigger. Why? Okay, because your clock changed from 1 to 0. So you look at the arrow of your clock. So it goes down. Okay, from 1 to 0. So that's why your vertical line also you need to draw here. That means by negative. Eh? Every time clock change from 1 to 0. So you need to determine the value of your Q. Okay, so this line. Okay, this line. Alright, so based on this example, meaning that uh, your clock, you have two types of clock, positive clock and negative clock. So negative clock, your clock changes from 1 to 0. Okay, positive clock, your clock changes from 0 to 1. Okay. And then uh, the diagram for JK flip flop for negative is slightly different. Okay, because you have a bubble here. Sorry, okay, you have bubble at your clock. Okay, showing you that the clock is actually negative clock. Mode still the same. Yeah. So Q equal to 0 initially. Okay, so here, so uh, J is 0, K is 0, so 0, 0 is whole, so it hold the value of 0. Okay, and then 1, 0, so 1, 0 is set, okay, go up, K, 0, 0 is whole, so here is all, okay, 0, 1 is reset, so reset, your Q must equal to 0, Okay, clock number 5 if 1, 1 toggle, so it will toggle the previous input, that's why you go up to equal to 1. Clock number C also 1, 1, so toggle. Okay, clock number 7 0, 0, which is whole. And then uh, lastly, okay, you have uh, 1, 1, which is toggle. Okay. So this is the... Example number two, another example of uh, JK flip flop. How we can draw the Q waveform for JK flip flop. Uh, if you the clock is a negative eight trigger clock. Okay. So for JK flip flop, the most important part is actually you must remember the truth table. Okay, the mode for each combination, okay, including uh, the last mode, okay, which is toggle. So, so what mean by toggle? What mean by hold? What mean by reset? What mean by set? Okay, when when the output of uh, Q uh, must follow the mode of whole, for example. Yeah. So when the J K is equal to zero zero. So you must remember that kind of situation. Okay, what uh, what is the mode that uh, the input or the output is uh, will carry? Okay, when J equal to one, K equal to one. So the mode is toggle, so that kind of uh, uh, mode or that kind of situation that you need to remember for JK flip-flop.